English teacher, it's Miss Ava, and I am super excited to be back for this last lesson for this series. It's been a very sweet Christmas season so far, and today we will be talking more about the sweet gift of Jesus Christ. But before we dive too deeply into this lesson, I would like to take something from Minister Tiffany. Earlier, she said that she wants you to give her gifts, and I too would like some gifts, and my gifts are the same gifts. Like this video, mm -hmm. find it, find the button somewhere, I don't know where it is, but find it, find it, and click it. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, Fresh Future TV, because we have fun all the time here, and share this video with everyone. Share all the other videos from all the other series with everyone, because everybody needs to know that it is a sweet Christmas season. Okay, now, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to gather with our loved ones and to gather with you in our midst, Father. We thank you um, for everything that you're doing in our lives. We thank you for everything that you've done um, all year. And we thank you that this is the time we get to remember um, Jesus. We get to remember uh, your birth and be really excited about the fact that you were born and you came down from heaven to earth. So we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. It's script time! Today's memory verse is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15, and it reads, Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. The word of the Lord is blessed. Stars in the sky. And you know them by name. You are amazing God. All right. Today, we're still talking about cookies and using them to help us understand the sweet, sweet gift of Jesus to this world. Now, we've already gotten past the perfect mix of batter, right? We learned about all the ingredients that were in place to create the first Christmas ever. And then we learned about the perfect cookie cutter and how the Christmas story took shape when the Magi came. Magi, Magi, why do you say this word? Magi or Magi where the Magi came and presented baby King Jesus with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. After that, we learned about the perfect temperature. Jesus had to experience heat as a child when Herod tried to kill the new king. The new king was Jesus. Okay, and now, drum roll please. We will be talking about the Christmas cookie story being iced to perfection. We're gonna watch the video to get it started. Cue the video. God's story, Jesus is born. So part of God's story is about how he sent his son, Jesus, to be born. And it goes like this. Remember when God created a perfect garden? He also created a perfect family, Adam and Eve, to live in the garden with him forever. All they had to do was trust God. Then they would live with him forever in a perfect world where nothing bad happened, ever. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve stopped trusting God, so they disobeyed him. That's when all the wrong things in the world began. The worst part was they were separated from God because God is perfect and can't be around anything wrong. But God came up with a plan to rescue us from all the wrong things in the world. That way, he could be close to us again. For hundreds of years, God planned this rescue. He built a special family for the rescuer to be born into. He told prophets how to recognize the rescuer when he came. Prophets hear from God and then share it. God's family was so excited. And finally, it was time. God was ready to send his very own son, Jesus, to be with us on earth. Of course, he could have sent Jesus as a warrior or a superhero, but he didn't. He sent him the same way we all get here as a baby. Now, that might not sound strange at first, but to a young woman named Mary, it was a huge surprise. God actually sent an angel to tell her that she was going to have a baby named Jesus. Mary was terrified, but she said, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Basically, Mary wanted what God wanted. Anyway, the news about Mary's baby also came as a big surprise to a man named Joseph. Mary was going to be his wife, and now she was going to have a baby. But Joseph wasn't the father. So an angel came to him in a dream. He said, Don't be afraid to take Mary home to be your wife, 
She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. After hearing that, Joseph obeyed. A bit later, the king told people to go to their hometown to be counted. That was something that happened every once in a while. Joseph was from a little town called Bethlehem, so that's where he and Mary went. When they got there, Mary and Joseph couldn't find a place to stay. With nowhere else to go, they spent the night in a place where animals were kept. And that very night, Jesus was born. Mary laid him in a manger, which is where animals eat. Here was the king of heaven, the perfect rescuer, born with animals and sleeping in a dirty feeding dish because nobody would make room for him. Kids, have you ever felt like nobody wanted you around? Well, that quiet, lonely moment was the moment God's whole family had been waiting for. So God did something special. He sent angels to some shepherds who were taking care of their sheep nearby. The angel said, Today, your Savior is born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherds went to find Jesus right away. They told others the news. The rescuer is here, and he is sleeping in a manger. Everybody who heard their story was amazed. This is what they had been waiting for. It just happened in a way that wasn't expected. Even though people had stopped trusting God, he loved them and us. He wants to be with us so much that he sent his very own son to earth to live as a man. In fact, one of the names God called Jesus was Emmanuel, which means God with us. Through this tiny baby, God was close to his people again. And that's the story of when Jesus was born. But here's a quick version of what happened after Jesus was born. A star appeared in the sky. Magi followed it and worshiped Jesus. Jesus grew up. He never did anything wrong. He showed us what it looks like to follow God and love like God. Then he took the punishment for everything we've done wrong. Now we can all be close to God again. And that's a part of God's story. The icing on the cookie is the final touch that brings it to perfection. And this perfection symbolizes our perfect savior, Jesus, who is the son of God, God in the flesh, and the perfect word to represent God's love for us. He was the perfect being and his presence here on earth was a perfect one. And yes, I will be using the word perfect a million more times throughout this lesson. So bear with me. From before time began, right? God had a plan set in place to redeem humanity after Adam and Eve sinned against him. And this redemption came through the life of Jesus and everything that led up to Jesus' birth was perfectly put together by God to fulfill his perfect plan. God knew that he was the only one who could save the world that he created. And because he loves us so much, he decided to come down to earth in the form of a man with flesh, Jesus. And because Jesus came from God, Jesus is also the son of God. And he was sent to save us. And so he is also our savior. The word that was spoken about him came alive when he was born. And so he is the living word that represents God for us. And now I don't, I don't want to call Jesus a cookie because Jesus is not a cookie, but he definitely is the sweetest gift ever. And he is everything we need and we have full access to him. This, this, Christmas, right? This is the season that we celebrate Jesus' birth. And if he was not born, he could not have lived his perfect life and then give up his perfect life so that we can have the opportunity to receive salvation and live eternally in perfect paradise with him. So he really is the perfect gift. So this is just me reminding you that Jesus is the perfect gift, okay? That's it. It is time for our key takeaways, all right? And these key takeaways are just reminders from what Minister Kelly and Minister Tiffany told us a few weeks ago. So, key takeaway number one is from Minister Kelly. Jesus is the reason for the season, this season, and every other other season, really. Key takeaway number two from Minister Tiffany. Jesus is king. He's the king of kings. The king of kings. And our last key takeaway is also from Minister Tiffany. God is El Shaddai. He's almighty and he's all powerful. Okay. 
concludes key takeaways for today. Again, Jesus is the sweetest gift that we can receive. And he freely offers even more gifts to us. He also offers the gift of salvation. So Romans 10 verses 9 through 11 says, if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from death, then you will be saved. We believe with our hearts, and so we are made right with God. And we declare with our mouths to say that we believe, and so we are saved. As the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. Just like a sweet cookie will not disappoint you, Jesus is an even sweeter gift, and he will never disappoint you. So, if you just made this decision to give your life to Jesus and accept him into your heart and declare with your mouth that he is Lord, then you are saved. So welcome. Welcome to the family. We love you. And if you need some support and you want to walk with some people or if you want to join a church, whatever you want to do, whatever you need, we got you. You can contact us at freshfuture at freshstartny.org. That is freshfuture at the Fresh Start ny.org. I love you. We love you. Jesus loves you. Have a wonderful Christmas. And the happy new year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm Destiny's Child. <laughs> Let me just love Miss Ava. She was the real treat here today. And I just came on because I have on Christmas colors and I said, why not, you know? But I love y'all and I'll see y'all in our next video right here on Fresh Future. Fresh Future, let's pray. I am a King's kid. I am called by God to do good works. The word guides me and Holy Spirit teaches me. I will love God's people. I will be a disciple. I will make disciples. I will do your will. Send me, I'll go. In Jesus name we pray, amen.